How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Garage 99. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a couple audio upgrades for the Miata. So we've got our JVC single head unit so we can maintain a cubby. So we have some sort of storage in the car, like throwing your phone, your water, whatever in there. I had it in my last car and I really enjoyed it. So that's why I went back with a single din. This was one I had laying around. It's pretty bulky and it's like twice the size of the other head unit we just bought. I figured less weight, right? It's Miata. We've also got our universal uh, radio wiring and then we've got the wiring for the Miata itself so those can be paired up together to work in unison and then we've got some kicker 200 watt speakers these are the KSC series they're like the signature series edition these are gonna be like more of your uh, quality over volume so they're gonna sound really 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 good they're six and a half inch I don't know how easy or difficult it's gonna be to take out I haven't done audio in a long time on cars so this is gonna be a lot of fun I guess first thing we'll just work on the speakers make that a quick and easy install then I gotta go run up to the parts store to grab the bezel kit that should be in about noon so I got a couple hours on that Okay, so once you get that off, there's like two pins over there, a pin here, a screw here, and a screw here. So there's five total, three clips, two screws. And then once you do that, you gotta undo the door lock release. And if you have the Bose system, the tweeter release, that's this guy here. All right, so here's our Bose speaker. We're gonna go ahead and remove this. Looks like we got four Phillips head screws, and then we'll assess it and see about putting another guy back in. All right, I don't know if you guys saw this. This thing is incredibly light. I actually, you know, you, you think it's a nice quality until you pull it out and you're, you realize how old it actually is. It's so strange that it has a magnet on the front and the middle too. That's just a single phase. Uh, these are actually gonna be dual phase. These are gonna have tweeters built into them, a 0.75 inch tweeter and a six and a half inch speaker. And these actually look really, really nice. I mean, we're not using the screens, but they're super nice screens. And there's your speaker. Now here's the problem. Oh, actually it might not be a problem because it looks like it comes with an adapter, which is fantastic. That actually fits that surround size. This is, this is perfect. I guess if you spend a good amount of money on speakers, they come with a decent adapter for you to use. All right, we got this side all dialed up. It's working. The solid green is going to be your black, which ends up being your negative. So the solid green on a Miata is your negative. And then the yellow stripe one is the positive. Uh, it was a pretty easy install. I'm kind of glad that it came with that adapter. I haven't done speakers in probably over 10 years. So the fact that it had like an adapter to fit perfectly how it is now is wonderful. So we're gonna go ahead and get this door panel on, get the other side on and then move on to the head unit. I ended up doing this side a little differently. You ever notice when you like work on something, the second time you do it always looks a lot better. So I ended up able to use both of the connectors that they gave me and then I used some heat shrink on top of it just in case. Never know, it keeps them isolated, keeps them from getting any water or anything inside of it. Passenger side door is all done. Man, these doors are so clean on the inside. It's like, it's like a brand new door. We're gonna get this all put back together and uh, work on the head unit. All right, we got that door panel all put back together. The speakers are done. Now, before I get into the radio, I just wanna say I'm a genius for thinking of this because there is a radio pin tool that you need to purchase that's either Mazda or Ford. They're like the same one for this era of car. I didn't have it. I didn't really care to get it. I watched a video of how it was used. I could just make that out of a coat hanger and sure enough, I did. You have to make four loops that can fit inside these side slots. There's gonna be two cover panels that look like this. They got pins that go all along. You just pop those off with like a plastic trim piece remover. And then you have to put something inside of these pins to release the side to allow it to release. And I was like, well, I can just make that. And sure enough, I got a coat hanger, cut it in four equal sections, looped them around, and you you push them in and it's gonna like kind of like release it. And then you have to pull out on all four of them and remove it. And sure enough, it worked. Oh man, that's a, this is a heavy, heavy unit. Good Lord. Hang on a second. Holy cow, look at this. That is a big unit. Remove the harness and the antenna. So now you can see what it was doing is it was pushing up on that and then I was releasing it on all four of them. So you guys can now see what you have to do to get this radio out. 
It's not super hard. The really, really cool thing is, this is the first car I haven't had to take the entire center console out to do this job with. So here we have our JVC head unit. As you can see, this thing is super shallow. It's gonna be nice and easy to tuck everything up inside there. This wasn't some crazy item, although it does give us a good amount of features. Uh, it's a KD, a JVC KDX 280 Bluetooth. It's made for basically just mostly Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, it did come with a wiring harness diagram on top, which is super nice. And then this is gonna be our adapter. So we've got our wiring harness for that. This will end up plugging into the Miata's factory wiring harness, and then we're just gonna solder and attach all of these to all of those. Should be plug and play and good to go. That's the beauty of some of these modern wiring harnesses for cars that you can just do stuff like that. So go ahead and get it going. Okay, I just want everybody to know how easy it is to actually wire this up. Every radio has a radio harness, and your car harness that you have to buy aftermarket. And it'll show you which pins on the car need to connect to which pins on the radio. Whatever you don't use, you could just tape off. And whatever you do use, you strip it back and you connect them. Most of them are color for color. It is super easy. Anybody can do it. It looks like a mess, but it's super easy. And I try to keep them a little organized where they don't overlap each other for the most part. So let's put the radio in. All right, picking up where we did yesterday, I actually ended up getting the trim piece that came in. It's all one piece unit. Um, kind of creates this section to be like 1.2 din. And then this little piece down here is like 0.8 din, but it, it still fills the two din unit. On these Bose equipped cars, what people don't tell you is that you actually have to bypass the Bose amplifier. Um, I'm gonna put a picture of the description I worked off of. It actually ended up working somehow. Um, I ended up bridging all of them around and together. We ended up getting the radio to work Work, as you can see, and the audio device pops up pretty quickly. So it's already got my iPhone. I did disable the power antenna. It looks a little goofy. It's adorable, but I'm trying to go for a clean look. If I can have less unnecessary things popping out of this car, the better. I might leave it in the car. I don't think I'll remove it completely. Uh, the radio works flawlessly. The speakers sound incredible. I still need to tune the audio a little bit. Everything went together pretty smoothly. Um, the hardest part, like I said, was probably the Bose amplifier. You have to unplug from the harness to the amplifier and then bridge everything. It's just trial and error stuff. Not a lot of people replace the Bose unit in these cars, but I wanted a little extra shelf here and I wanted something that was Bluetooth. I even have a little speaker for me to use the Bluetooth to talk on the phone. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on so you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. I'd like, thank you all so much for watching. Peace out, keep turning those gears.